Hello guys, welcome to Houdini Made Simple. In this video, I'm going to show you how to delete points from a flip simulation using the ID attribute. So let's say I have this simulation of some fluid pouring into the shader ball and I have some points in the bottom that I don't like what they are doing, I don't like the, the behavior. So you could technically go select the points and uh, create a blast node to delete these points. So the problem is that we are deleting these points using the point number, so this is not going to be consistent through the timeline. So uh, as soon as we move, we, all, we can see that we have the points back in the, in the simulation. So uh, the solution is going to be to create an ID attribute. The ID attribute, it is going to be consistent through the timeline, so we need to create and cache this before. So we want to go into the DOMnet, into the flip solver on the particle emotion tab on behavior. We can check the add ID attribute and once you do that now you can go back into the sub level and just uh, recache your flip simulation. Once a new cache is ready you can check in the geometry spreadsheet that every point number now it has a, an ID attribute and this ID attribute is going to be consistent through the timeline so we can use this to actually delete the points that we don't like. So in this example, let's say uh, there are some points that they are uh, alone and they are creating maybe some artifacts when I'm trying to do the meshing process and I want to delete them. We can uh, go into the select option, click on points, and now we can click select groups or connected geometry. And on the wheel, we can go to attributes and make sure to select the ID attribute in this case. And now we can start selecting points by ID. So we can start selecting some of the points that uh, I believe that it may create some problems when I'm trying to do the machine process. Just as an example, it could be any, any points in, in your simulation. So this uh, should be good enough for my example. And once you finish selecting your points, you can hit tab to access the tab menu, create a blast node, hit enter. And this is going to delete the points that you don't like, in this case by ID. And now it's going to be consistent through the timeline. And once you start the meshing process, you can always keep refining and uh, seeing the, the before and after, we can see we have a lot of uh, little drops falling and maybe in this case, I'm not happy with those. I do like the rest of the seam and I just want to get rid of those. So I can, again, delete by ID and this is going to give me a, a consistency through the timeline. And let's say there are still other points that I'm not happy with. So we can always go back, select by points, go to the attributes id and now we can select uh, those points uh, hit tab create a blast and go back to a machine process to see if we finally uh, got rid of those artifacts so that's it for today guys a really helpful technique in my opinion especially when you already cash and everything is looking good and you only have some points that you don't like and you want to get rid of them maybe they are exploding or doing something weird we can just select them by id and delete them uh, and that's it thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and comment and i will see you on the next one